Hey, what's up? Just a quick message before we get into this video. This is a bit of an older video that I've recorded about a year ago from when it's being uploaded now. You see, what I had done was upload this onto my main channel, but kind of pulled it down because it didn't match the content that I was putting out there. So I'm re-uploading it here onto one of my side channels. Now, keep in mind, these blockchain gaming investigations are more an investigation into how good the game is. So I'm quite literally going to piss off a lot of investors. And uh, if you don't like the video, well, <laughs> because YouTube makes the dumbest decisions in the world, you can't even dislike it. So you'll just have to live with it or find something better to watch. But for those of you who are here for the long run, I hope you enjoy. Let's get on with the video. Dude, you, you this is the video game industry. Yeah. Right? This is the market cap of the video game industry. Uh-huh. $151 billion. Makes more than any other media. Yes. By far. Hollywood looks like small time in comparison to this, which is why it's so fucking strange that oh. the video game industry, like, sucks Hollywood's dick when they're, yeah. like, nobody in uh, comparison. You um, so the next one is something called Neon District. Please... Please just be, uh, pl before I look at this game, I will be excited if this game is a 4 out of 10 at this point. Please be just okay. That's all oh I want. Boy. Background doesn't look bad. I could imagine this being like something from League of Legends. Yeah, they've got a Twitter, they've got a Medium, they've got a Discord. That's fine. Neon District first gameplay demo. How old is this video? Okay. Okay, it's not it's not the worst. I'm seeing a clean interface. I'm seeing something that kind of reminds me a little bit of Darkest Dungeon but with a cyberpunk theme. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Even if the rest of this video is shit, the first 9 seconds are better than everything else we've looked at so far. Oh hey, Destiny choose Warlock as a character. <laughs> what this guy listed the game oh, oh. he didn't list it as neon district oh roblox he listed it as roblox <laughs> so oh no off. oh no i wonder this... why comments are turned off yeah, gee i wonder well i mean look the video's got more likes than dislikes they didn't get ratioed like that other one so I'll give them that. Asset, okay, so about the game. Neon District is a cyberpunk role-playing adventure and flagship game. Okay, so they, that's the combat, right? There's more to the game. It might actually be something that's enjoyable. Maybe. If we, if we squint hard enough. Uh, leveraging the latest decentralized technologies, players battle through sci-fi dystopia and earn in-game NFTs. Okay, that's the right way to, way to do it, right? You play the game, you get NFTs for free for battling your way through the game, and then maybe at some later point in time you can sell them. Oh, Steam funny. did this. Steam did this and did this successfully. You know like the stickers you could get, or the, the cards you could get from Steam, and you could sell those cards off, um, and you would have money in your Steam account that you could then use to pay for video games. The fact that you can do that is the right way to do it. Okay, this one's also listed it as Roblox. And now let's see what Leather Mommy has to say for us. Enter Blockade Games. At Blockade, we're consistently pushing the boundaries of how games can reward players by, by establishing a sense of co-ownership through these digital assets. Okay, so co-ownership. That's the right idea. At our flagship title, Neon District. Okay, Neon District is their flagship title, and it's about a 5 out of 10. I'm sorry, but just looking at her, I'm just like, a Final right. Fantasy inspired <laughs> Which leverages the power of digital assets. She knew what she was doing wearing tight leather to this presentation. Of our game assets, which are all okay, inventory, that's good. We're also developing on blockchain layer 2 technology. Okay, they, okay. There's my problem with this, is their inventory, right? You, you can buy all of this for Ethereum, right? 
which is fine. That's okay. But I need to know that there's a way to earn this in-game without spending any money whatsoever. Uh, it's it's also I uh, this is actually something that I learned from watching Turtle Biscuit back in the day. He made me realize that that models where people pay money to catch up isn't such a bad thing. As long as it's not pay to win. As long as there's a way for someone who plays the game to earn the same item with some kind of equivalent time value of money, right? So there's a guy who works seven days a week, right? He earns a lot of money, but he doesn't have a lot of free time. In the, the few hours he has in the day, he, he logs into a video game and he wants to play certain content, but he can't play that content unless one, he buys his way there, or two, he grinds there like five hours a day, and he's not gonna be able to do the five hour a day grind. So he pays a bit of money into the system to, to get that advantage, to get to the same level as the guy who can grind five hours a day, which isn't bad. The, the whole thing of the problem comes in is when the guy can just buy his way all the way to the fucking top right and he's better than everyone because he paid money that's shit that sucks but if he can buy his way to an equivalent level then that's fine he's still he's still going to be at a disadvantage because he doesn't have the skill the the uh ability to do all the crazy shit that everyone else can do but he's he's more on parity than someone who's paying to win what this is trying to do is this is trying to help the guy who plays, who grinds a game, who no life's it, who's got a fucking poop sock next to his de desk that he's like swinging around to get the liquids out of, um, so he can use it again before he goes and washes it. He can then sell those items directly to the guy who doesn't have the time to play the game. That would be fucking great, because then the guy who's grinding nine hours a day can make a living playing the thing he loves and the guy who's got a job that is very demanding and he doesn't have much time to play this game can be buying shit from the dude who does grind nine hours a day so that connects the player base as well there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that but that's like the idealized case of what might happen and that's what i hope that leather mommy here is trying to do you can see examples of our game assets which are all backed by non-fungible tokens. So backed by NFTs, no surprise there. Okay, there's the hentai beast again. Where players control parties of characters as they are equipped with specialized gear and battle to progress Straight out of metal. through a sci-fi campaign. Yeah, this is... <laughs> that's where it's from. It looks like one of the sex robots from Metal Gear. That's where it's from. So yeah, okay, so there's no way they didn't purchase this themselves. This is just trying to generate interest. That's fine. I, I mean, okay, me saying that, keep in mind, me saying that is assumption. I might be wrong. Someone might have actually paid 25 grand, but I don't fucking believe it for a second. Okay, you know what? We'll give Neon District a try. That's convinced me enough yeah. to give it a try. Claim a free character. Okay, that's a good sign. Demons are combat specialists. Docs are primary healers, geniuses, she, she don't look like a genius with those glasses on, that's all I'm saying. Ghost, assassins, heavy, heavies are extremely strong and sturdy, and jacks, jack off. Okay, which one of these do we think we go for, Iconic? I'm thinking heavy. Okay, heavy. Strong and sturdy, we'll go tank. Okay, two juice, what the fuck is juice? I'm not, I'm not coming on my monitor. You have five juice. You better not fucking pronounce that wrong. You have five so juice, we... yeah? Yeah, we have the oh. juice. <laughs> we got the juice. Available upgrades. We got three upgrades here that we can do for this person. I don't know why we would... E okay, wait, we've got to go one at a time, don't we? If I could just go for upgrade three, why would I go for anything else? Yeah, I'm going to upgrade three. That was the most health attack and defense. Why would I ever go for anything else but the highest stuff? So we've leveled a character. We've we've thrown a few juice at her. So I've got a character. I'm not leveling up any of this stuff. I want to know how do I play the game? Inventory, battle. Team setup, create a new team. This makes 
Iconics TP hard. There we go. And we add. We add our heavy. In slot one. Does this mean I need to buy three other people? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out how do I link my wallet to this goddamn thing. Oh, so you just take forever to set it up. Yes, because I'm shit at this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just picked this up and I'm trying to figure this out. Right, wonderful. Okay, I've got my wallet linked. Finally. Okay, what's the next step? Uh, assign custodial Matic wallet for your account. From here, click connect to the Web3, blah, blah, blah. Okay, buying Neon. To buy gear, you will need to get Neon. Okay, I don't care about buying shit. I don't care if I get my ass beat. I just want to see what the gameplay is. Yeah, your stream title should be Boomer trying to figure out how to start the game. It fucking should be, Sven. In Neon District, how to play. None of this tells you how to start the game. <laughs> Why? Send referrals, send gifts, follow us everywhere. How do you fucking start the game? They literally say you have to buy characters and equipment. It's in the steps. Okay. Uh, yeah, they say you have to buy characters. They don't tell you you need to fill out a roster. Right? They give you a character for free. Which is this first character here. Okay, fuck it. We'll see how much a character costs and we'll go from there. Also, I don't like this page because every time you go here, it just freezes. Which is not a good sign. This is, this is not the Poggers gaming experience of 2021 that I was expecting. Get characters. Okay, so 300 neon is $2 oh, is $3. 800 6 dollars. 2000 okay, hold on. USD to ETH. And I never trust an exchange that just tells you a random price of Ethereum. So 0 0.025 Ethereum is $25 about. 0 0.025 15 US dollars. You don't track prices? You don't have an oracle? Hmm. Hmm. Dodgy. So everything on the front end looks pretty on this game. Everything in the back end is horrifying. I can I can spare. I can spare seven dollars. So we can see what the fuck this is like. Okay, so we bought 800 neon. Each one of these characters is 100 neon, right? That's not bad. Price parity, that's not bad. So these characters are each like a few cents. The team set up. We've now got four characters. We can now edit the shit. We can put in a genius. We've spent money on this. We've spent real world money on this shit. And the site froze again. The fucking site froze again. That's it. <laughs> You're not a beta tester, Rose. You can't play the actual game. This this is what they show you. <laughs> no. No. Jarek Teddy, if that was you who gave me six dollars, do you want your six dollars back? I'll give you your six dollars back. That wasn't worth it. Oh no. So they've got this thing. Comments are turned off. Fucking <laughs> guys, there will be a bunch of comments out of this video just being like, how the fuck do you get to this part of the game? Get fucking nade on, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Why? You motherfuckers. <laughs> you pieces of shit. Their assets <laughs> made $25,000 out of getting you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you bastards! There's no play button! You Season motherfuckers! One. Season 1, buy all your shit. Season 2. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to their Actually, Telegram. Really... Let, me, let me just join Telegram. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on. I don't know why it didn't read your message now. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Facebook and get a free unplayable character. That's fucking right. Hey, yo. How do you play this game? I'm so confused. The mouth. <laughs>
<laughs> just went into this fucking Please. Discord. Please, mister, I made my poverty. <laughs> Where the fuck did I play? I made the... I, I gave you virtual titties for money, please. <laughs> Let me play the game. When does... I made, I made my virtual Instagram fight. Where the fuck is the game? <laughs> we found our answer. <laughs> we just gave them money for nothing, these motherfuckers. You can only play this game on January the 19th. They stole my money. <laughs> you hoes. Wait, what? Uh, but <laughs> Imagine Wait, what? Paying Wait, what? To get X10. Wait Imagine you can't even paying play? Imagine get fucked in the A. Like, legit? Like, 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 Fucking retard. <laughs> I gave them money. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why did you sons of bitches do this to me? Uh, uh, and, the, and the fucking website doesn't respond half the time. Oh shit. It's well, like Blizzard. They're right, they had Blizzard in this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are wrong about that shit? Play numbers X10. Imagine explaining that bill to your wife. I'll pay, no Sorry, play, honey, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to the Blizzard experience. Honey, I bought four, I bought four virtual women online and I can't play with any of them. Oh my god. Okay, so... It's it's not <laughs> it's not the worst thing. We gotta wait until January the nineteenth. I lost six dollars. Someone lost twenty five thousand dollars. I think I'm okay. This is what <laughs> this emotes what blockade games oh. just made you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they fucking did. Dex ten. Maybe if you follow them on all they didn't social mention media, they a fucking thing on their page. <laughs> Not a fucking thing. They didn't mention a fucking thing on their page, and they just broke you the fucking. But, but you know, what? you know, my ass actually looked at the fucking Discord and seen it say "beta testers," and I was like, "This motherfucker is gonna get fucked." They fucked me. They fucked me, Johnny. They fucked me good. This is what I need to be able to take these poundings like this. Maximum toning and smoothness, so the slides in a little bit easier. Than <laughs> oh, you sons of bitches! Okay, always join a Discord before playing a game like this. They don't get fucked like me. Oh no! Neon District early combat in 2018, and you—it's been two years, and you can't play in this game. <laughs> Oh. So I spent the whole Dex 10. No matter how shit 2020 was, imagine starting 2021 getting fucked in the A by a game that doesn't exist. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? You motherfuckers! Okay, fine, I'll see you January 